just put the world game up there. Be another hundred years before we see another one like him. Thomas is 16 half stone. Sit down. Here comes Lomu. Straight through Stephen Jones. Come. Jonah came uh, to Wesley College in South Auckland. I was deputy principal there. I was also the coach of the rugby first 15. As a 14 year old, uh, he was about uh, a metre 90, he was uh, 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3 and he weighed uh, probably about 94, 95 kilograms. And here we go once again, that's a lovely run by Lamu the captain and looks like he's going to go all the way. That is a magnificent try from inside the 22. We had him playing a tight forwards game, but he had that wonderful ability of being a lock that could uh, run as fast as a wing. My word, what an outstanding player this fellow is. It took me about a year and a half before I realised that I really enjoyed that game. You know, enjoyed rugby. Um, you know, just um, you know, coming to terms with the, the rules of the game. Especially coming from league, you know, you run into a ruck and you're supposed to release the ball and you're wondering why these guys are rucking you. That year he also made uh, the New Zealand under-16s. When he left school, um, you know, we started to, to keep an eye on him. He so, so he was fast tracked in really his first season of serious rugby. He didn't really want to come and play for the New Zealand team straight away. So we left him alone for a couple of years and then uh, 94, he just turned 18. So we went to Hong Kong. Uh, early 94, he had a big year in the sevens. He was running around guys like Serevi and through guys like Campisi. This fresh faced uh, 18 year old from from South Auckland. The Fijians, masters at this art of sevens rugby, up against New Zealand. New Zealand with Rush and Seymour, the two experienced men, and the young giant Jonah Lomu on Serevi the master. Jonah Lomu! Magnificent try! He made a fantastic uh, impression uh, at the Hong Kong sevens scoring a wonderful tries and thrilling the huge excitable crowd there and uh, those games were telecast live back to New Zealand and this kid suddenly became uh, the name on everyone's lips. Glenn Osborne begins the final stages of this 94 tournament. Eric Rush claiming the ball. Lomu takes more than one to tackle him. Takes more than two. It takes more than three. He just exploded on that scene and uh, the next two years he got even better, which was hard to believe. <laughs> we went and spoke to his provincial coach and asked him if he would consider playing him on the wing when he got back from Hong Kong so that we could have a look at him. He agreed to do that. Basically got asked if I wanted to play out on the wing at the National uh, Telecom Sevens tournament. Final here in Palmerston North, the Telecom 0800 Sevens final, and it is County's leading Waikato by five points to nil and attacking. Jonah Lomu, the man who scored the try, hovering out on the wing. There's an indication of just how powerful he is. That's amazing strength from the big man. And there's more power too from Paramore. And more again from Lomu. And this is two tries for Jonah, Jonah Lomu. And that gives Counties the lead by 10 points to nil. His work rate wasn't really that great to be a number eight or a loose forward, even though uh, he had been tried at uh, a blind side flanker and number eight on, on, on several occasions. But uh, I, I think the wing is his, uh, is his true position. They put pressure on counties, but they are able to keep possession. The ball in the arms now of Lomu. 
He has another go on Chris Costello and Lomo goes in for his hat-trick of tries in the final. John Lomo, what a sensation. So, you know, I got asked, oh, do you want to trial out for the All Blacks out on the wing? And uh, I said, oh, well, it's the highest honour you could get asked.